Hi Chem Team. So chemists will measure energy in units called joules, and you can see some examples of joules here. And as we learned today in class, uh, endothermic reactions occur when joules of energy are absorbed, and exothermic reactions occur when joules of energy are released. So if a chemist wants to show that a reaction is endothermic, they'll simply write the number of joules uh, that the reactants needed to absorb in order for the reaction to occur. And so you can see that uh, in this example, uh, these two water molecules needed to absorb 286 kilojoules of energy to decompose into hydrogen and oxygen. Uh, and if a chemist wants to show that an exothermic reaction occurred, uh, they will simply write the number of kilojoules released during the reaction. And so in this case, you can see that the combustion of this methane molecule uh, released 890 kilojoules of energy. And that's it. At this point, you guys have a couple of practice problems. We'll see you in class tomorrow.